Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael Potter, Chairman and President of Eden Foods in the organic food industry for 43 years. We are not an OTA member. <clears throat> I must object to the greenwashing for more easy and cheap to produce quasi-organic food. Should organic food be better for large corporations or better for the people? Self-proclaimed organic leaders, self-proclaimed by those in, to those in Washington, long ago abandoned quality for quantity. Quantity in cash flows, profits, and overall quantity in and of numbers. They have adopted the Wall Street ethos that bigger is better, and so have completely abandoned the organic truth that small is beautiful. Organic food is supposed to be an alternative to industrialized food. It is supposed to be the antithesis of commercial food. Yet how can it be an alternative to junk food when it's being measured for success with the same yardstick used for and by Wall Street rascals? The NOSB was designed to be a gatekeeper in order to preserve organic authenticity. To do this, they must employ the precautionary principle, always being certain that what they do is appropriate for organic food. There is a huge need for something to control the inputs into organic food. There is need to offset the efforts of those simply wanted to make as much money as possible doing it the easiest and cheapest way. A character of organic agriculture is that it must encourage life in soil. Anything that diminishes or limits vitality of soil life ought to be avoided. Anything that stresses or destroys soil life must not be used in organic agriculture. USDA organic food has a reputation as needing only comply with a paperwork scheme, a scheme that invites and encourages fraud. It is urgently important that something develop to, to, off, something develop to offset this, and the role of the NOSB ought to be this offset. Chemical manufacturers can lay hundreds of pounds of documents before us claiming they're added to safes and suitable for organic. Who can counter such a presentation? An individual, objective academia? Is it the people's job to prove them wrong when they simply say they're right? They should have to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt until the due diligence of the precautionary principle is entirely met. Definition of organic food ought to be similar to that of organic agriculture. Anything that causes physiological stress in a healthy person eating it should not be added. And the handling and processing of organic food should be done to protect and enhance vital forces inherent in it. Food is a life force, and growing it, handling, and processing it must be looked at in its entirety, not in the myriad of small pieces. First, principles must be set for organic food, and then the small details looked after accordingly. Looking after small details without overriding principles is a recipe for disaster a disaster where organic food no longer holds credibility with the public. At Eden Foods, we hear of trade associations, grandiose numbers, touting tens of billions of dollars in organic food being sold. This is usually met at Eden with sarcastic comments about organic junk food, organic food that by no means ought to be called or sold as organic food. Thank you for my three minutes. Questions? Thank you, Michael. Whoops. Oh, excuse me. Is it clear? I can't see. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Um, thanks for coming to the NOSB. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. Um, I'm really interested in getting, since you are <coughs> such a large producer and have a, have a very um, important presence in the market, the organic marketplace. I'm interested in getting your specific input on specific materials that we're reviewing. And are you going to have or do you have specific positions on the materials we'll be reviewing over the next couple of days? And can we call on you as those come up? Eden Foods is a very resourceful company. Uh, we, are, we welcome being utilized as a sounding board. Uh, you know, the, the, the driving force, I heard somebody testify earlier today that you have to hurry up. We need to be bigger. My God, that's not what this is about, hurry up. We need to do it right. And, and size is not everything. You know, healthy development is what we need. And, and I'm more, more than willing to uh, participate in any way that the board would uh, deem useful. 
Thank you.